Hi, I'm Sharon and I'm with Mahalo.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Crazy Train by Ozzy. Okay? I'm going to play for you first so you can hear it. It goes like this. be fun on acoustic guitar. All right, so here's what you need to know. We're going to take, um, for the first riff, what we're going to do is take your first finger, put it on your low E string on the second fret. Okay? We're going to hit it twice. Okay? So hit it twice. Go to your third finger on the fourth fret of your, of your A string. Go back to the E, I'm sorry, go back to your low E string on the second fret, so it'll be. And then your next note will be with your pinky finger on the fifth fret of your A string. So, so far we have. Okay. For the next part of this, what we're going to do is take your first finger, you're going to put it on the second fret of your A string, and then you hit an open A string. You're going to put your third finger on the fourth fret of your low E string. You're going to hit an open low E string. Okay, so. And then you're going to hit an open A string. You're going to go back to your first finger on the second fret of the A string and do the same thing over again. And then you're going to end with an open low E string. So, so far our riff is going to be like this. That's the beginning of it, okay? And then we're gonna go to two chords. These are bar chords. You're gonna put your first, you're gonna put your first finger on your A string on the fifth fret. And then you're gonna bar your finger, which means that you're gonna you're gonna cover two strings with one finger instead of using two different fingers. So you're gonna put your first finger on the fifth fret. You're gonna put your second your third finger as a bar on the on the D string and the G string. And you're gonna and you're gonna move that up to the seventh fret. So be. Okay. The next part of the song, we're gonna do a couple of little triad chords, okay? For the next part of this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the open A string three times. That's the way the rhythm goes. And the chord that's gonna follow that is gonna be right here. You're gonna have your third finger on your D string on the seventh fret. You're gonna have your second finger on your G string on the sixth fret, and you're gonna have your first finger on the B string on the fifth fret. So you'll, your rhythm will be like this. And then for the next part, you're gonna hit this A string four times instead of three. So the first part was. two, three, four. Okay? It's a very slight difference, but it makes a difference. So, this next chord, what you're going to do is you're going to slide, just to make this easy to see it, just slide the whole thing down a half step, okay? And you're going to have your third finger on the, on the sixth fret of your D string. And what we're going to do is we're going to move, your second finger is going to be on the B string on the fifth fret, and you're gonna have your first finger on the fourth fret of the G string. So what you're really doing is just reversing your two fingers from here to here, okay? So when you're moving from here, keep that same voicing, you're gonna slide it down, you're gonna hit this open A string four times again, okay? When you slide it down, you're going to have your third finger on the fourth fret, okay? The last one, the last chord you're going to do is an A chord, and you're going to bar your finger across your D, G, and B string. 
So you're going to do that open A string four times again. Okay, so all together. Okay, next part what we're going to do is you're going to do a hammer with your second finger to your third finger from the second fret to the fourth fret on your A string. And you're going to go into that A chord again. go back to an open A string and then you just start the whole thing over again. Okay. Now what we're going to do is pull-offs and the difference between hammer-ons and pull-offs is before we did the hammer-on where you start with a note and you hammer on a note. Okay. Now we're going to do some pull-offs which means that we're going the reverse. We're going to have a note here and we're going to pull off to another note. Okay. And um, what he does here is you're going to have your third finger on the fourth fret of your G string, your first finger on the second fret of the G string. You're going to pull off to your open string. You're going to do that same sequence on your G, on your G string and then to your, a, um, to your D string to your A string. Next part of the song is going to be like this. Okay? What you're going to do is you're going to do a bar. You're going to do a chord right here, bar chord, starting with your first finger on the second fret of your low E string. And you're going to have your second, I'm sorry, you're going to have your third finger and your fourth finger on the fourth fret on your A string and your D string. And you're going to open it to nothing. You're just going to have open strings. And then the next chord that you're going to do is right here. And that's going to be with your first finger on the fifth fret of your A string. And then your, um, your third finger is going to be barring the D string and the G string. So. You're going to go back to, the e, to your A chord. To the E. And then back to your chord right here um, on the low E string on the second fret. So all together that'll be. And that is crazy trade. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more songs on guitar, check out these videos and also mahalo.com slash play guitar.